but does finish him up. Gets two. Gets three. What a what a hit that hits him 65%. Whoa! Hello again, Pion Nation. I hope you're still doing well. I know I am. I'm still Matt Williamson. And you're still watching Married Ecology Sports. And we still have a stream going on. So, here's the deal. Good news and some bad news. The good news is I do have the video of our Smash team going up against Ferris State University. The bad news is what I did not expect was our computer to run out of memory and the video stopped recording. We have most of it, but I don't have all of it. We're still going to play it. We're still going to talk about the game. But once we run out of video, we run out of video and then we'll just have to give you the, the final score. So I, yeah, that's totally on me. I was not expecting the computer to, to run out of memory. So we will have that fixed for next time. So with that said, we still want to go over a couple things. So first of all, uh, let's go over the roster of our Smash team. Now, I don't know exactly who was playing. I can give you a couple ideas. So I'm just going to go over everyone that was here today. Uh, so sophomore Mars, Eric uh, Mars was here. I don't think they were playing, though. Freshman Ben Baker, Redman was, was here. Uh, I think he played. And sophomore Peyton Angle, Peyton Angle Ginger Ale was here. Probably played. Uh, junior Jackie Lauer Sixer was here. Don't know if she played, but I guess we'll find out. Uh, sophomore Mason Rice Cheshire was here. I think he started off. Uh, yeah, he definitely stopped. He played Game and Watch. I've already got the video up here. And then we also had freshman Christopher Stoffel, C. Stoffel here. Don't know if he played or not. So we're going to find out who played uh, in the, the match here. Uh, and, of course, we have our head coach, Derek Games, Games Grum. This is Nace Star League of Smash, so it is 4v4 crew, not 3v3. So we will watch uh, four of our uh, teams play. No, four of our students play. I'm sorry. All right, so let me go over a couple of the announcements again. So do you want to give that shout-out to HyperX for being the official peripheral sponsor of Married College Esports, providing our facility with keyboards, mice, headsets, mouse pads, microphones. Uh, we love the quality of their their products you can go to hyperx.gg slash marriott es the qr codes on your screen to check out some deals for hyperx stuff they got some really good prices on headsets and microphones so definitely go check that out shout out again to over the moon pizza for their support every tuesday and thursday is their game nights they have a switch available so if you want to go over there and play some super smash while getting some good deals on pizza and drinks you can certainly do so and don't forget on tuesdays they will air our matches so you can go there every Tuesday, including next Tuesday, to check out the uh, the Overwatch match. So speaking of next week, uh, next Wednesday is our annual Day of Giving stream. February 14th is the day that the college uh, was chartered back in 1835. So yeah, that's quite a bit of time ago. So to celebrate that birthday, we're going to have a 12, 14 hour live stream where several of us are gonna be playing some games, some of the ones that we love and we wanna share with you, in hopes that maybe you will help support our esports program. We're still looking at that, trying to raise some funds for some computers. Uh, we're trying to give our students more opportunities. Like last week, I didn't even talk about this during the Rainbow Six match, but we were able to take our Rainbow Six team to the University of Kentucky for an invitational. And that was possible because of your guys' support. So we thank you for that. The team had a great time. So we want to give all of our teams those kind of opportunities. So by being able to help give during the day of giving will help with those things. So the schedule for next week uh, on at 10 a.m., our head coach, Derek Games, will be playing some Persona 3 Reloaded at 12 o'clock. Uh, our League of Legends player, Aiden Gatlin, is going to play some Resident Evil 2. I think it's the remake. He's going to do a speed run. Uh, at 4 o'clock, two of our Smash players, Peyton Angle and Jackie Lauer, are going to play some Psychonauts. They have streamed Psychonauts a couple times on our stream before. So if you love watching them play some Psychonauts, you're going to see some more Psychonauts. And at 6 o'clock, our Rainbow Six Captain Aaron Crumb is going to be playing some Call of Duty Black Ops 3. Uh, he's going to be doing the zombie mode, so that's going to be fun. And then we're going to have at 8 o'clock some Lego Batman going on. 
uh, courtesy of Ryan Boggs and Jason Vonfeld. And then I'll be closing out with Super Mario 64. I love playing this game when I was younger, but I'm gonna be doing a star challenge where I'm gonna try to collect as many stars as I can during my time slot. And I will be donating $1 for every star I get. And my challenge to you guys is that you do the same, that you donate a dollar for every star I get during my run. But, all right, a few other things real quick. We would love to talk to high schools about our eSports program. So if you're a high school with eSports students or an eSports program, say hi to our head coach, contact him. Got his contact info here with his email, X account, and Discord. Uh, so we can set up a virtual visit where we can talk with your students about our program. We can do it on Discord. We can do it on Zoom, Teams, Google Meet, whatever platform you want. But we want to talk to you about what Marietta College has available for you. And, of course, thank you all for your support. Thank you for your follows. Thank you for your gifts. Thank you for your subscriptions. It is one of our main sources of revenue. So as a reminder, if you have Prime Gaming... Or if you don't have Prime Gaming, but you have Twitch and Amazon Prime, you can connect them to to get Prime Gaming, which allows you certain perks, such as a free sub you can use. So you can use your Prime Gaming sub to help support our program for absolutely for free. We get the benefits. You get the benefits. And uh, yeah, and you get emotes for doing that, like GGs and lols and rips and pogs and hypes and feel bads and let's goes. So uh, yeah, thank you so much for that. But all right, so I have the video up. So I'm gonna try to get this set up here properly. So let's see here. I need to hit this button to get there. And like I said, it's a video of pre recording of the matchup against Ferris State. Um, we didn't get all of it, but I think we got a good chunk of it. So we'll stream as much as we have, and then I'll give you the final result at the end. But it uh, looks like Cheshire is leading out with Game of Watch, and they'll be going up against Pokemon Trainer. So let's see how this goes. Well, all right, remember, it's a 4v4 crew battle. So let's see how Cheshire does against this Squirtle using that Game of Watch. Already trying to go a very aggressive route. Squirtle is a very fast character, but so is Game and Watch. Squirtle trying to use that shell, but does not connect. Cheshire trying to use some bombs, also does not connect. Goes for the down smash, misses. Dash back, but Squirtle does strike first with that shell and already put some damage onto Cheshire. But gets that up hit, and we do see the Ivy Sword coming out. But Cheshire is trying to juggle that Ivy Sword in the air. Does get a little bit of damage. Loves that combo to keep Ivy Sword uh, floating around. Is able to shield the Razor Leaf. Great smash attack there by Cheshire. Goes for the down smash. Does not get. But oh, this is a huge one, and does launch Ivy Sword out of the platform. So that's already one. And we're going to see Charizard coming out, but that's not a shiny Charizard. What kind of Charizard is that? I don't know. And it looks like a misclick by the Charizard. Drops a stock, tried to get back on the platform, but was not able to do so. So already Pokemon Trainers down to their last stock. Just starts trying to get some damage onto that Squirtle, juggling it into the air. Squirtle's fast, but not so much of an aerial attack. He does use the shell attack, uses the bomb. Goes for the down smash, does connect. Launching Squirtle into the air, but gets hit by a big shell attack. Game Watch is already flashing around. Has to be careful to not see if he did not drop a stop. Gets that down smash. Going for the up attack. Gets one. Juggly in the air. Looking for the finisher. Launches it, but not enough to finish him off. Swaps over to Ivysaur. Gets a big hit to launch him. Trying to finish him off. Looks for that down hit. And is able to take him out. 3-0. Great job there by Cheshire on the Game of Watch. To be able to launch him and get that 3-0. But a, a great job there by the Pioneers. So now they're going to have to uh, wait for what the uh, the maps will be and what Ferris State will be picking. Or we can just skip to the video because it's a recording. So we don't necessarily have to wait for all the selections. So maybe we'll just move forward here a little bit.
and see what's gonna be selected here. So we'll just move forward a little bit. Still waiting here, so we gotta move just a little bit more. And it's gonna be a Ridley. So we'll swap sides over here because now Chessire will be on the left side. Chessire did not drop any stocks. So we're gonna be able to go right into this matchup with Ridley. So we'll see how they do. Already trying to go for that juggle, but of course Ridley is going to be a little bit better in the air. Launching those fireballs, getting a quick attack, already getting Game & Watch to 60%. Goes for that dash attack, looking for those fireballs, does get egg. Game & Watch is going for the down smash, but does not get back on the platform, so will drop one stock. Ridley only at 28%. Cheshire's gonna have to be careful. I mean, he was definitely going for that Meteor Smash, but it did backfire on him. Already taking a whole bunch of damage to Ridley, who's charging at the Fireballs, but gonna use that Bucket to absorb some of the back. Looked for the counter, but didn't get it. We we'll say a great recovery there, and a huge hit there by Cheshire, evening it up, but immediately though, Ridley is going to counter, so now Cheshire is down to the last stock, going to absorb all that, but trying to launch it back, did not connect. But Ridley already put some damage onto Game & Watch, goes for the down smash, doesn't connect. Ridley does have a bigger hitbox than Squirtle, so that should help, but still strongly to deal some damage to the Ridley, getting it only to 7%, going for the bomb combo, doesn't quite connect, has, has the shield attacks, but still gets hit. Down Smash does get shielded. Has to be mindful of the fireballs, does get back onto the platform, still at 79.6%. A great launch there by Cheshire. Now trying to juggle Ridley into the air but gets countered with that down smash. Ridley goes for the grip and misses. Cheshire tries to go for a play, actually recovers, and a grip, oh, you hate to see that. Ridley went for the grip play, the throw him down himself, and Cheshire was just not able to recover and get back onto the platform. So Ridley will close the gap. Cheshire was able to uh, drop a stock, but that's it. So now we're gonna see who is gonna be coming in next with the Pioneer, so we'll skip forward a little bit. So it looks like Ginger Ale is gonna be coming up next, so uh, should we bring out the corn? All right, so we're just gonna fast forward here a little bit, because we can. And here we go. So Ginger Ale will now be going up against this Ridley. So Ridley will have to drop a stock. Two, one, go. All right, here we go. And we see that Ridley does hit very hard. Gonna be looking for those grips, looking for those fireballs. And, but, Ginger does not have a way to counter the fireball, so gonna have to be a little careful, especially with that dash attack. Does get a nice little range attack there. The damage is even up, but one huge attack already there from Ridley. Just Ginger Ale was able to dodge the fireballs. But Ginger Ale's gonna have to rely a lot on aerial attacks because of those fireballs, and those grip attack right there can be devastating. Shields them all, gets a perfect block from one of them actually. Goes to the Lance, doesn't quite get it. The range attack doesn't connect either. Ridley just hovering a little bit in the air. There's more fireballs, able to dodge it, and the grip. Ginger Ale does not dodge that grip though. I'm gonna use the fireballs again, but Ginger Ale is able to get back onto the platform, but still taking a lot of damage. Goes for the charge Lance attack, does not get it. 
to try to capitalize on that down smash, but just not able to hit in time. More fireballs coming out, able to get dodged. Goes to the charge land, still doesn't connect. Another big hit from Ridley, gonna try to use his fireballs again, does connect, and gonna be able to take out JJ and still get back onto the platform. Actually, that was the wrong button. There we go. So now we're tied up in stocks remaining. Goes for the kick attack, but does not connect. Trying to get some more damage onto Ridley. Ridley's at 75%. Great counter there by Ginger Ale. Tries to charge up, but doesn't connect. It's a lot of time being eaten from the clock, but still, you know how fast these rounds can go. Another big grip attack coming out for Ridley. Ginger Ale gets back to the platform, but so does Ridley just being able to fly back in. Already gained some damage back with the Jigel. Shields that kick. Fireball's coming out once again. Great block there. Negates some of those fireballs, but not all of them. Another big attack. Ginger Ale is able to get back onto the platform. Ridley will too. Lance attack does not connect. More fireballs from this Ridley. Nice attack there. Looking for the stun, does not connect. And oh, that is, whoa, okay. I, I thought I was gonna just throw her down on the ground, but both are able to recover. But a huge smash attack there by Ridley. Puts Ginger Ale on her last stock. And Ginger Ale take down this Ridley is at 115%. Does not have enough charge for more fireballs. Nice hit there. Looking for the stun. Doesn't get it. Charge up Lance. Doesn't connect either. There's another fireball. Charging it for more fireballs. Does get hit though. Really just looking for opportunities to launch those fireballs. Because they can do a hefty amount of damage. There's those fireballs I was talking about. And one more for good measure. Nice big hit there from Ginger. Looking for the stun. Does not connect. Ridley's going to get back onto the platform. Deals damage to Ginger. More fireballs coming out onto the stage. Just a lot back and forth, but trying to charge the attacks. But Ridley's just going to keep jumping and dodging. But really, the clock's not in Ginger Ale's favor. It's going to have to make a play. Because if the clock expires, it's whoever has the most stocks wins. So Ginger Ale has to take down. Oh, there we go. And now we're tied up. One apiece, one left each. But Ginger Ale is at 87.6%. Can't you close the gap and finish off this Ridley? Trying to get a couple hits in. And that is going to do it. Ridley just launching Ginger Ale off the platform. And Ridley will take the round. Two stocks were dropped total. But now it looks like it is going to go to Breadman. Bring out that King DDD. So we're going to fast forward just a little bit. So give me a second as we get into here. Okay. This is a good place. So, all right, Breadman will be coming in on King DDD against this Ridley. Gotta take out one stock. Let's see if he can do it. So, Ridley's gonna drop two stock. All right, here we go, folks. The thing with DDD, can, uh, he can absorb those fireballs and launch them back. But it's a matter of can he utilize it. Going to use the Gordo instead. Does dodge. Ridley going for the grip attack. Great hammer attack coming out for Breadman. Going to try to absorb at least... Well, we just saw maybe a weakness of the... Uh, absorption can swallow the first fireball but may not be able to absorb all of them 
And we're going to see DDD's at 120% already, looking for that op attack. But Ridley is going to knock him in the air. Going to try to use the Gordo to close the gap. It does get a big hit onto the Ridley. Going to use that Gordo again, but does not connect. The op attack does hit. Trying to throw out Brenman, but he is a bit of a floaty. It's going to be back, even though it's flashing red at 158%. He is considered a heavyweight, but still going to get taken down. Gets Ridley to 80%. Gonna look for the finisher, and a huge hit there, and launches out Ridley. So Breadman only dropped a stock in the process, but still a very close matchup between Marietta College and Ferris State. So now we are gonna move forward to the next match. Let's fast forward here a little bit, and we're running out of the of the clock here. So it looks like it's going to be Falco coming out for Fair State. Three, two, so Bremen will have to drop a stock. So here we go. Falco, a much faster character than DDD. Just able to use that blaster. Already put 17 damage onto Bremen. We see the up attack coming in, does not connect. Falco able to punish DDD's movements. Tries to go for the Gordo attack. Does get a nice combo out with the hammer. Falco looking for that up attack. Does use a dash and kicking DDD into the air. Trying to use the laser to discombobulate. The Gordo not doing a whole lot, but tries to launch it. And gets back and forth. Oh my goodness. Falco just punched it just back and forth. I was having some flashbacks of some Zelda there against Ganon. But unfortunately, Bremen was not able to absorb it back. Now down to his last stock. Falco still at 30%. Already trying to get a bunch of damage out onto Bremen. Goes for the up attack. Doesn't get connect. Dash comes out for Falco. Another up attack comes out. Already at 110%. Falco is looking to finish off Brenman. Going to use the Gordo, but it's going to get deflected back. And that is going to be game. Once again, Brenman trying to use the Gordo. But Falco able to deflect it back and just finish him off with his own uh, weapon. Uh, it looks like C. Stoffel will be coming out next. So let's take a look here. But yeah, it looks like it. And is that? So hold on, let me, let me make sure it's him. Because usually he brings out Ganondorf, but looks like he's going to be bringing out something a little different this time. I was expecting the Ganondorf from him. But yeah, we are going to see the Ike coming out. So interesting choice from C. Stoffel. So let's go ahead and move forward here. So all right, here we go. It is going to be Ike versus Falco. We'll see if C. Stoffel can try to tie this out. Already seeing a lot of damage coming out from C. Stoffel. But Falco is trying to retaliate. He knows that 42% already taking the lead in the percent damage. Falco already doing quite a bit of damage. Knocks C. Stoffel into the air. Going to get back onto the platform. 121% though. And that was a misclick, I believe. Dash into the side instead of using the up B. You hate to see that. We see a lot of damage back and forth here. See, Stoffel does get Falco to 73%. So a lot of back and forth going on here. Trying to shield the, the blaster. 
She's still was already at 105%. Falco looking for a, a up attack. But a huge smash attack comes out for Falco. Now she's still was down to his last stock. Falco does get the perfect block in. Already getting some combos in. But getting Ike back to 77% damage. The momentum is in Ferris State's favor. Trying to get some damage out. Gets a big hit, but still only getting Falco to 85%. Ike is at 144%. Falco trying to launch these stuff in the air. Looking for that up combo to finish him off. Falco does dash away. Gets hit and uses the laser. Charge attack does not connect. And that combo will launch C. Stoffel out. And Fair Estate will take the first uh, game. So let me update the scores here now swap over to make sure everything's working properly but yeah mariana was able to take down two from fair state which is a nice improvement here but i want to take a look to see how much of the match we get okay so it looks like i'm just looking here it goes into the second game but it doesn't go all the way. So I, mean, I don't think we're going to be able to show the, the second game. So as I said earlier, the recording did stop partway through because the uh, the hard drive that we were using to store it, or I should say the, the solid state drive, was out of memory. So unfortunately, we're not going to be able to show the second game. I will tell you how it went. Um, I think Cheshire was able to do well. He did start with the game and watch. Uh, I don't know the exact breakdown of the second game, but I will go ahead and put it here on the score that Ferris State did end up taking the second game uh, 12 stocks to 6. So I will at least go ahead and go over that. But once again, I apologize. There was a technical issue with getting the second game recorded. Next week, I will make sure that the video gets recorded in a section of memory that's not full. Uh, but at least we're able to show you the, the first game and the fact that in both of them, the Pioneers were able to take down two opponents from Fair State is a very good sign. Uh, so if you want to see more Smash, guess what? We will get to see it on Friday. So actually Friday is going to be a busy day. Uh, they'll be playing against University of St. Francis at 10 a.m. So make sure that you do come back for that. And then this afternoon... Our Fortnite team will be playing in the NACE uh, competition. We'll actually have two Fortnite teams going, so i got to work on the stream to get it set up uh, to handle two teams at the same time. I have not done that before, but I got some ideas. And then our rescheduled match for League of Legends that was supposed to be last Saturday will be at 6.30 uh, on Saturday. So please be sure to come back uh, then. But I think that is where we are going to call this stream for tonight. But like I said, we'll be back on Saturday. And of course, next week, we got Rocket League on Monday. We got Overwatch on Tuesday. We got our Day of Giving stream on Wednesday. We got more Rainbow Six and Smash on Thursday. And then that Saturday, we're going to have some Smash, some Fortnite, and... No, League of Legends is, is going to be able to buy next week. But yeah, we're going to have quite a bit Uh going on there so hopefully you will join us for all sorts of streams for the next couple of weeks for the next couple of days now for all of us here at marion ecology sports thank you so much for watching please be sure to follow us here for all those updates and here on twitch twitter facebook youtube instagram and tiktok shout outs to all of our supporters HyperX, over the moon pizza elgato by blue light uh incredible msi uh and kovacs i think i said elgato but i'll say it again just to make sure thank you all also for your follows thank you for your gifts thank you for your subscriptions and we hope you enjoy the rest of your evening. Have a great night.